the Prophet ﷺ said, خَيْرُ يَوْمٍ طَلَعَتْ عَلَيْهِ الشَّمْسُ يَوْمُ الْجُمْعَةِ That the best day that the sun has risen upon is the day of Friday. فِيهِ خُلِقَ آدَمٍ That is the day that Adam ﷺ was created. وَفِيهِ أُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ And that is the day that Adam ﷺ was entered into paradise. وَفِيهِ أُخْرِجَ مِنْهَا And that is the day that Adam ﷺ was expelled from paradise. And so what we take from that is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam islam on the day of Friday. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in fact, the Prophet said that Allah created Adam islam as the last creation on the last hour of the hours of Friday. So Adam alayhi salam was created at the end of the day of Friday. And that's very powerful because, you know, what that means is that that, is, that coincides with what's known as Sa'at al-Ijaba the hour in which your dua is accepted. Because the Prophet ﷺ said that there's an hour on the day of Friday that no believer calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with something except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers it. And in one narration, the Prophet ﷺ specified that it is the last hour of the day of Friday being the, the same time that Adam alayhi salam was created. So that's the time to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for anything. So Adam alayhi salam being the last of creation, one thing we can take from this though, is that both Adam and Hawa and his wife are without mother and without father. And the scholars say that that shows that the orphan has worth, that you know the orphan can never be put in a situation where he's told that he's worthless or that he's nothing. In fact, we of course are, are part of the Ummah of Rasulullah who is known as the orphan that adopted the world. Right? So SubhanAllah, it's something very powerful that no person can connect their lineage to Adam There isn't a single person in the world that can connect all the way back to Adam alayhi salam. Which means that in some way, shape or form, we're all orphans, right? Adam alayhi salam has no mother or father, and we also cannot connect to Adam alayhi salam. And in that, of course, is, is a very consistent message from the Messenger sallallahu which is not to boast about your lineage. Okay, and this was something that was prevalent amongst the Arabs in particular, and Allah subhanahu and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, O people, قَدْ أَذْهَبَ اللَّهُ عَنْكُمْ عُبِيَّةَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةَ or The Prophet said in, in two narrations, he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done away with your slogans of the days of ignorance and you're boasting about your lineage, you're boasting about your fathers, you're boasting about where you come from, you're boasting about your tribe, you're boasting about your race. The Prophet says, مُؤْمِنٌ تَقِيٌّ وَفَاجِرٌ شَقِيٌّ وَالنَّاسُ بَنُ آدَمْ وَآدَمْ مِنْ تراب. He said وسلم, that now, there is a believer that is righteous, and there is a wicked man that is, that is miserable. Okay, these are the only two categories of people we have. And all people are the, are, are the children of Adam. All people are the children of Adam, and Adam was from Turab. Adam was from dirt. Now the Prophet he uh, goes through a very detailed description of how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salam. He says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an angel, and in some narrations it specifies Jibreel alayhi salam, and, it t- and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took a handful of each part of the earth, all of the different surfaces, all of the different types of the earth. So he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, فَجَاءَ بَنُوا آدَمْ عَلَىٰ قَدْرِ الْأَرْضِ that, that the children of Adam came in accordance with the different colors of the earth. فَجَاءَ مِنْهُمُ الْأَحْمَرُ وَالْأَبْيَضُ وَالْأَسْوَدُ so you have some amongst them that are that are white, that are that are black, white, red, brown, and everything in between. So all the different colors, because Adam السلام, was created with a combination of all of the different color, all of the different colors. And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was the 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 easy going and 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 the al haznu, the grieving, the sad, the thick, if you will, wal khabith, which is uh, filthy, wal tayyib, which is pure. Right, and, and you know, I know uh, Ustad Nurman uh, tried to fit nationalities into this, right? So he, you know, in, in, in his uh, class on Adam Ali Islam on Fallen, I know, I, I heard him actually say that as Sahlu are the Malaysians, which makes sense because mashallah, the Malaysians are, are beautiful people and they're always easy going and chill and relaxed. Well, Haznu, he said the Pakistanis, I can't say that. That's between him and the Pakistanis, right? Al Khabithu, he left it blank, and I think he said Al Tayyibu was the Bengalis. Allahu Alam, you could fit in all your races in there. Just leave Al Khabith, all right? So you can praise the others, if you will. Just leave the Khabith part. But the point is, is that we're combined with all of these different types of dirt. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it into Adam alayhi salam. Hence, his lineage comes in accordance with the different colors of the earth, and we are all equal in that sense. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that He created Adam alayhi salam first from Turab. 
from dirt, which is obviously something to humble us, that we all come from dirt in that regard, because our father comes from dirt. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took a turab and he made it into tleen. And tleen is al-turab ma'al ma. It's dirt mixed with water. So it becomes mud. So first it starts off as dirt, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mixed it uh, with, with water and it became uh, mud. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it tleen in lazib. And tleen in lazib is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered it to, to let it dry and to, and t- till it became sticky. Lazib means it becomes sticky. And then after it became dry and it became sticky, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it into hama in masnoon. And hama in masnoon is dark, smooth mud, which, in, which indicates to us obviously that Adam alayhi salam had a darker complexion. Okay, in fact, linguistically speaking, Adam, when the, when the Arabs would describe someone as, as Adam, they, w- they would mean that he had a dark complexion. Okay, and then after hama in masnoon, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left it as dark, smooth mud, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it into salsal, which is molded clay. And Ibn Abbas عنه, he says that in each stage, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left it for 40 days or for 40 years. The Prophet simply says, قَدْ تَرَكَهُ مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَتْرُكَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left it as long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, willed. But at the end of the day, uh, each one of these stages went into the creation, the molding of Adam alayhi salam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ He praises the creation, the way that he created. Adam alayhi salam, what went into the, the making of Adam alayhi salam and the making of the children of Adam alayhi salam. But at the end of the day, it starts from dirt. And subhanAllah, it's very powerful when you think about that, that as human beings, even though our creation is different from Adam alayhi salam, Allah says that we, you know, our father came from Turab, but we start off as nutfa, we start off as the drop of fluid. Even so, when we are buried, when we are placed into the dirt, our body is consumed by the dirt once again. SubhanAllah, think about that. Our bodies are once again consumed into the dirt. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also created Adam alayhi salam as very tall, okay? And when I say tall, I don't mean tall like, like me, all right? I'm, I, I hear all the, the silly descriptions, all right? Whoever made the bio, which I'm still pretty bitter about, the friendly giant, okay? I'm not a giant. There are many people that are tall and they're pretty big by our standards. But what was Adam alayhi salam like? The Prophet sallallahu says that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khalaqa Adam, Allah created Adam wa tuluhu sittuna dhira'a. And Adam alayhi salam was 60 cubits, which is about two football fields. <laughs> so Adam alayhi salam was huge. Now, it's not just Adam alayhi salam. The Prophet sallallahu said that everyone enters into Jannah with the surah of Adam alayhi salam with the way that Adam alayhi salam is, with Adam alayhi salam's stature, okay? So Adam alayhi salam was huge, and when we enter into Jannah, we would also be very big, we would also be huge. And his body now was left, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala molded it to this, per, to, to this beautiful perfection, his body was left hollow. It was just, you know, at that point, it was just sitting there without soul. And Iblis started to go by that body and he started to enter into it and he started to leave on it and he started to knock on it and it would make like a vibrating sound as he knocked on it, okay? And he's saying to himself, لِأَمْرٍ مَا خُلِقْتْ What were you created for? Right? What were you created for? Iblis still doesn't get it. He's bitter because he hasn't seen Adam speak yet and so on and so forth and he's already been given all of this privilege. And when Iblis entered into Adam Islam's body and, and, and came out and knocked and so on and so forth, Iblis said, هَذَا خَلْقٌ لَا يَتَمَالَكَ That this is a creation that is not going to have any power. It's not fit for power. It's not fit to be in charge. And he declares his enmity to Adam Islam before the soul is even given to Adam Islam. And he says, لَإِنْ صُلِّطْ عَلَيْكَ لَأُغْوِيَنَّكَ If I'm put in charge of you, then I'm going to lead you astray. And if you're put in charge of me, then I will disobey you. I'm not going to listen to you. And so, so it shows you the early enmity between Iblis and Adam salam, And that's something that's true also for every child of Adam. Okay, the Prophet salam said that the, that the shaitan touches every child of Adam salam on the day when his mother gives birth to him. Okay, so as you are born, boy or girl, Shaitan touches you, he pokes you, and he declares his enmity uh, with you without even knowing anything about you. 
And the only ones that were spared from this, the Prophet ﷺ said, were Maryam السلام, and her son Isa. Why? Because the mother of Maryam said, Wa inni u'idhuha bika wa dhurriyataha min shaytan rajim. She sincerely sought refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Maryam and her offspring, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected them from that. Otherwise, shaytan declares that enmity from the very start. And so that's something that's very powerful that our body at that point, you know, we, we, are, we really don't have much. And subhanAllah, we find that our worth comes after that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from this video. If you did, then please do share it. And if you'd like to follow the rest of the series, then please do click on the top box. And if you'd like to see all of the other episodes and the other videos we have to offer, then please click on the box under that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content.